G'day to all you young adults of Glenmore Park, Anglican. Today I'm entering the world of vlogging. I've started a vlog called Against the Flow which will deal with issues of Christian living that are relevant for young adults. On Sundays we don't always have time to fully apply the Bible to every aspect of life. So this vlog will explore some of the applications of Christian faith to the nitty gritty of young adult Christians. The first area we'll, we, we will explore is Christians and porn. At church on Sunday, pornography was mentioned as one way that some people will try and save themselves from loneliness. In today's world, porn is such a huge industry, and that is obviously due to the rise of the internet over the last 20 years. Over your lifetime, porn has changed so much. It has become easily accessible and more explicit in content. And this is having a massive detrimental impact on a huge number of young adults, both outside and inside the church. For example, people are getting sexually active much younger and are having multiple sexual partners. Men are having increasing expectations of their partners, wanting them to do the things that they see on the screen. Women's self-worth is being reduced to their sexuality, on how hot they look and how hot they are in bed. This is tragic. Net porn is changing relationships and sex for the worse. It is distorting and changing the minds of countless people. So then, what is a Christian young adult to do? Well, God's good design for our sexuality goes completely against the flow of our culture. Jesus was most clear on this when he said in the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew chapter 5, anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Viewing porn is an act of complete lust and so there's simply no place for it in the life of a Christian. And so on Jesus behalf I urge anyone out there who's viewing porn I urge you to stop it today. Stop by doing what you did the first day you followed Jesus which was repent and believe. Every day of a Christian's life should be a day of repentance and belief. Therefore, in this area of porn, determine in your heart to stop. Confess to Jesus your sin and call on him to forgive you and he will. Then believe that forgiveness. God promises to save all those who call on the name of Jesus and there is no condemnation for those in him. So with repentance and belief, the guilt from porn is dealt with, but the addiction to porn is not. Giving up porn is not easy. Porn is an addiction. Neuroscience has shown us that there are similar patterns in the brain of a porn addict as there are in a heroin addict. So give up porn. But it will take a lot of work. Here's four ideas. You will need to get the help of a friend, so share your desire to change with a trusted Christian friend. Ask them to pray with you and to meet with you and to ask you how you are going. Secondly, Find a porn support group near where you live or check out the porn support websites that are on the internet such as Triple X Church, XXX Church. Thirdly, get net filters and use them. K9 by Blue Coat is a free and good one. Fourth and finally, pray and memorize scripture. Pray that God will keep you from temptation and that his spirit will guide you. And memorize Bible passages. One I memorized early on is 1 Thessalonians 4, 3 to 5. It says, It is God's will that you should be sanctified, that you should avoid sexual immorality, that each of you should learn to control his own body in a way that is holy and honorable, not in passionate lust like the heathen who do not know God. Take steps to free yourself from slavery to porn, to reclaim your eyes and mind for Jesus. And if you have setbacks, repent and persevere. John Piper is great here on the guilt of repeated sexual sin. He says, The distinguishing mark of saving faith is not perfection. The mark of faith is not that I never sin sexu sexually. The mark of faith is that I fight. Christian brothers and sisters, don't sit in the guilt and shame about your pornography any longer. Bring it out of the darkness and into the light of the gospel. Find forgiveness in Jesus and find the right help for dealing with your porn addiction. Let me pray. Father God, this is an area of such struggle for so many people. Father, forgive us for our sins. Father, help us to live free from the temptation of pornography. And Father, might we live in a way that brings you glory. Amen.